Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Buhari was misled to approve my replacement as AMCO chairman. Banara, former national legal advisor of the All Progressive Congress and immediate past chairman of the Assess Management Corporation of Nigeria, Dr. Mers. Banara San shared with Tunde Ajiji his thoughts on the judiciary future of the ruling party after 2023 election and other issues. Prior to the coronavirus pandemic, your party emerged in serious crisis and it seems you stayed a roof. Could it be because some of the happenings were things you warned against? when you served as the party national legal advisor? I wrote an article on the issue in February, and I mentioned that it would be my final comment on the crisis, because subsequently, most of these issues were substituted. However, I did predict rightly what is happening to them now. I told them verbally, and I wrote and in writing that this would happen if they don't change their style. The thing, the only way to sanitize that party is to return to the rule of law, whereby nobody is above the rules and the constitution is followed to the latter. It's as simple as that. Once you fail to follow the rule of law, you are inviting acrony, and that was what eventually happened. Some members of the party have even speculated that the party may not survive after the tenure of President Muhammad Buhari retired. Do you share their fears? Honestly, I'm not too sure. The party can survive it, and the reason is simple. In recent time, there has been, there has been no unity. They do not have a unity front. There are so many contending forces. There are many aggravated people and the foundation is shaking. The party has continuously experienced shock, particularly poor compliance with the party constitution and would, and when that happens, it means you are in a jungle and anything goes. I don't think that it will last that very long, but I may be wrong. Does it mean you are considering leaving the APC? More than a year ago, I think I have ceased to keep what I call bad company. As far as I'm concerned, I have left the party officially because I'm a man given to the rule of law. Once I don't see rule of law, exit. That's my point. I quickly take my leave because I don't want to wait till the house collapse on my head. Remember, they even said they have expelled me, which I gladly accepted, <laughs> laughing. I'm not one of the scavengers in the party era, so we are all on the same page. Are you leaving politics or you want to join another party? No, I am not. When there is a party with proper fundamental ideology which is lacking currently we will consider our position but now i have not seen any you were the legal ad advisor national legal advisor when chief bc akinde and chief john led the party if you are the if you are to compare their tenor with that of the current chairman mr adam soshomole what's changed what has changed in the party and now what is the crisis all about? As far as I'm concerned, I would consider the tenor of Chief B.C. Akinde and Chief Odionlu respectively as the respective chairman of the party as the glorious days of the party. These were days in which the rule of law was adhered to and administration of the party was top-notch. 
you would have read when the current National Legal Advisor of APC, Babatunde Ogala, compared, complied, complained that nobody takes advice from him no le on legal issues. That tells you what has changed. And with that, what do you expect as the outcome? In my days as the National Legal Advisor, both Chief Akinde and Odunwa listened and followed legal opinion and advice to the core. I will keep my making, I will keep on making the point that rule of law is the key. And once you decide to disagree or disregard, honestly, you can't end up anywhere if you behave that way. One of the following allegations against the suspected national chairman is that he does he does things by himself and does not call for meeting at the time you served the party you were having regular meetings yes there were so many meetings in fact i must confess that i almost i was unable to keep up with the pace during chief akinde period it was much easier for me because he highly respected and complied he encouraged people and engaged in the meeting. We were a team and APC was the best. Well, these are some of the um, reports from uh, Mr. from the former national chair uh, legal advisor of APC comparing his days and the days of the present Mr. Ogala, who is the current legal advisor. We heard, if you follow my previous news, some time ago, um, probably in January, when APC crisis was very severe and serious, that the party chairman, talking of the person of Adam Sushomole, they don't follow the rule of law, they don't behave themselves, and, you know, he was complaining then, you know, and um, he's now, um, you know, so the former legal advisor to the party is comparing these things and saying APC... Hmm, he's not very sure about uh, the longevity of this party going forward. Mr. Banneri said uh, Buhari was misled to replace him. And he can tell you for sure that um, the party is not what it used to be. APC party is not one that has been obeying the rule of law. And you can see it in the approach and the crisis. As soon as he was replaced, um, even the current um, chairman, you know, the current uh, national advisor, started talking about issues in the party that nobody listens to him, nobody obeys him, they all does as they want, nobody even come to seek legal advice to know what is happening in the party. He went further to explain and to expatiate that APC is not one party, you know, that is uh, obeying the rule of law, that this is a party that does not obey the rule of law. In the days of Ak uh, BC Akinde, these were days where they have, you know, meetings regularly. He even went further, um, referring to the person of Adams so Oshomole, you know, one of the complaints about Adams so Oshomole is that he doesn't listen to people. He does as he pleases. He does not even consult members of the party. He picks and appoints, cuts and divides as he wishes. You know, uh, it's all about him, what he thinks, how the party should be run. You know, so these are some of the things that he complained that has been happening in APC. And he went further to explain that um, Buhari was misled. And you can see the effect in the party as a whole, you know, the series of trouble and everything that was not coming on onto the party crisis here and there to the extent that the party chairman, the person of Adam Sushomole was suspended. A lot of issues here and there, you know. These are some of the things that have been happening in APC. And when somebody is not coordinated, eh, if somebody is not organized, when you go to the person's house, you will see everything about the house will not be coordinated. You will see things just everywhere, anywhere, because even the person himself, that's his own perspective and his approach to life. So you cannot be bigger than what you are thinking about above your thoughts. You know, he said you can see that even the chairman and the person of Adam Sushomole was almost expelled from the party, suspended by courts, you know, from by the court so these are some of the issues that started happening in apc as a party and you will be shocked to know that these are all due to not obeying the rule of law and people doing as they please you know and he went for that to explain 
that APC as a party, he doubts it if they will be able to stay together after 2023. Well, you don't need to doubt it any further. They, they say a man's works will speak for him. APC have not satisfied the people of Nigerians. They've not, uh, they've not made Nigeria to be uh, to, to, to Nigerians to enjoy the evidence of democracy. I don't think anybody, in their, anyone in their right mind or senses will want to bring uh, APC back as a party in any way, form or kind because these are not a paper to reckon with. I can say that because I am a Nigerian and I see the effect of APC in the governance of Nigeria today. What about you? I would like to hear your thoughts. I better not forget to thumbs up and to subscribe. God will bless you. Have a good day. Bye.